Cardinals baseball on FSN Midwest is brought to you by Budweiser, who thanks you for being a designated driver. By Chevrolet, see for yourself, shop and compare at stlchevy.com. And by Sonic, it's not just good, it's Sonic good. Major League debut tonight for Jaime Garcia here at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. La Russa and Duncan for MVP. Well, they worked in tandem for many, many years. I asked Dave the other day if he had, had an itch to manage. He said, not anymore. Not for me. No. At one time he did, but not anymore. He said he still enjoys this competition, the game within the game, and he is regarded as one of the best at what he does. Got Major League debut for Jaime Garcia and our Chevrolet call to the bullpen. Jaime just turned 22. What, three days ago, I think? Yeah, well, two days ago, July the 8th. And from Reynosa, Mexico. His last time out, he got roughed up Sunday at Omaha. So this would have been his natural, normal day to start. Got a pretty good fastball. The one thing they were telling me about is got a great breaking ball, but he really goes out there and attacks hitters. They've also said the minor leagues at one point last year they noticed he was just falling in love with that breaking ball and it's part about being aggressive got him back to the fastball. And there's a base hit. So Domit a leadoff base hit. That's how we start the bottom of the eighth. This is an interesting spot for the Cardinals. There has been talk about trying to find help from the left side. You know, if the Cardinals like what they see, who knows what happens with Garcia here in 2008. Well, and that's why it's a great opportunity right here. And, you know, you, you still have uh, Randy Flores on the disabled list. You know, he's, for a reliever, you don't need much more than a couple outings. So you would think that at the end of the All-Star break, Randy will be available. Strike two on Bay. Ryan Franklin throwing in the Cardinals bullpen. Franklin because he hasn't probably pitched an inning on Tuesday. There's a Russ Springer who we said before was on the pregame show and talked about watching young players and talking to them, the young pitchers out there. They're watching very closely here with Jaime Garcia. It's a role that Springer said he relishes being a veteran now. Well, it's kind of just passing on what somebody did to you. Somebody took him under his wing and now he's he said it, he appreciated it so much. If he ever got the chance, he'd do the same. Garcia, along with Bart, McClellan, Washington, Mather, Perez, Parisi, Boggs, Morell, Stabanoa, all have made their debuts this season, the most in the major leagues. If you would look at that, you would think the Cardinals would be 10 games under five. Absolutely, if not more. And at different points when they've been called up, all have played an important role. Out of necessity. Yeah. You know. Throw it into the fire. The 2-2. Pretty good. Joe Mather, of course, had that dramatic home run against Washington, made his major league debut, and made a diving catch in the first inning and then picked up a game winning RBI. I was to say that since he's come up with all these lefties, he's only started the first game. Strikeout. First in the career of Jaime Garcia. See him pretty much straight up the high leg kick and right over the top. This is it, 6'2, 200 pounds. And now he needs a double play. This is Nady with one out. Runner at first, Cardinals up by six runs. 
He attended high school in Texas, Mission, Texas. And that's how he was drafted in the second, uh, 22nd round, 680th overall, the June 5 free agent draft. 1 0 pitch. Two balls and no strikes. 18 starts last year at double A. Then he was shut down. He had a problem with his elbow discomfort. And at that time, he was leading the Texas League with 97 strikeouts and an ERA just under four. In 06, he was rated as the second best prospect in the Cardinal system. Last season, the fourth best. And as you talked about, he was selected to the Futures game, the world team. And he played in that last year, but did not appear. Was invited to it. The 2 1 pitch just missed outside. Outstanding start once again from Kyle Lowe's tonight. Pretty good pitch. High leg kick kind of jumps at hitters a little bit. A lot of arm action and then the you know he's got the change up her ball all coming out of the same slot it's a chance for Dave Duncan and Tony La Russa to get an extended look at Garcia they see him in spring training but you know the attention now is really put on him and magnified here at this level the three two Nadia broken bat it's popped up and Garcia calls for it Two outs. It's a strikeout of Bay. Nady, who could have been an all star this year, breaks his bat and the base hit. Domit, he broke his bat twice in that at bat. You also get the double benefit of a, a guy like Garcia that you get a, a left hander, get left handers out, but also a guy that you can extend out. Sure. Pitch multiple innings. It was another broken bat that shattered one of those maple bats. And it may have caught Yadier Molina. They were looking for some of the pieces right behind Molina. Oh, yeah. See, it catches mask. Well, it's a good thing he has that. The downward point on the chin. I deflected it, it looked like. The hockey style mask. Want to know the count on the Roche. High fly ball, and this should do it. Jaime Garcia, a scoreless frame in his major league debut, sends us to the ninth. Well done by Garcia. Six zip St. Louis. We're back and it's the bottom of the ninth. Garcia will start the inning. Our Budweiser great player of the game. Budweiser the great American logger. Rick and Keel three RBIs tonight. And Rick picks up home run number 20. Our Budweiser player of the game. 13 hits for the Cardinals in a six run lead. Bottom of the ninth. And Jaime Garcia is back to work. Second inning of work, a scoreless frame, first time. Mather stays in the game to play left field, and Schumacher moves over to center. Well, tell me about Garcia. What have you thought so far, even though it's been brief? I just, you know, you just want to see a little more of him. You know, I, I like what he did after the. The base hit didn't let it bother him. Just said, "Okay, maybe this is the big leagues, and I'll just kind of turn it up a notch." But get himself back here in the strike zone now. He's falling behind three and zero. And for straight leadoff walk. The only thing he worried about was. Did he kind of mentally shut it down after the one inning, assuming that was going to be it? You 
know, Franklin had warmed, you know, got up when they had after the base hit, but he did not get up any time during the Cardinals batting or to start the inning. Now it looks like he'll ease up again now, but here's Chris Gomez, and that's five straight balls, and that gets away from Molina and eliminates a potential double play. So all the good work you did in the first inning, you're about ready to throw away here in the second. Just overthrowing the pitch, wild pitch, allowing the man go to scoring position and falling, be falling behind the count again. Want to know is the count on Gomez? Six straight and uh, visit from Molina. Really didn't want to get Franklin up. First time up was, you know, just to tune up a little bit. But now he's, you know, it's six nothing. You got a little leeway, but you don't want to, you don't want to have Jaime throw a ton of pitches. And you really don't want to bring in your closer in this type of game. The 2-0. Prio. And there's a strike. Strike two, three and two. Jaime Garcia, Major League debut tonight. Gomez has been around a long time. The three, two. Got him on a high strike, and Gomez didn't like it. I think he had a legitimate reason. Everybody is even close to the strike zone. There's some other pitches last inning that were much better than that one. Oh, yeah. They were called for balls. Uh, from that angle, it looked a lot lower. Normally, in a 6 0 game, this place would be empty. It's packed for fireworks. Jack Wilson on the first pitch pulls it foul. And we've even seen times as we're. Walking out of the gates, they were filing in the gates. Yeah, for fireworks. It's very much like the roof in Milwaukee. <laughs> They'd be mesmerized when it would open and close. The game was secondary to the roof. Which leaks. It was never sold as an airtight or waterproof roof. We've got a roof. Center field. Catch made by Schumacher. Let's watch him against the left hand and hitting a cloud. He does perspire. Good test here for Garcia with the all-star Nate McLeod. Two outs, six run lead. And it's popped up. A play from Molina in foul territory. He's got it, and the Cardinals take game one. Two scoreless innings for Jaime Garcia. Take a deep breath. The major league debut for Jaime Garcia. The Cardinals win it six to nothing behind 13 base hits. U.S. Cellular Cardinals Live is coming up. Stay with us from Pittsburgh.